Hi guys, welcome to this video. This video will be a fairly brief one, but an important one. I just want to cover if you find that your WordPress is hacked. Now I want to speak about something specific. What I'm speaking about is very, very recently at the time of recording, it is April the 11th. So I'm talking about over the last few days. What you want to do if you run WordPress sites, Amazon affiliate sites, anything WordPress, you want to check and make sure that they're not hacked. Okay, before we begin, don't worry if you find that they are hacked. I'm going to walk you through how to fix it and I'm going to tell you why it is and so on and what you'll see. So, I'm speaking about a specific problem. The problem I'm speaking about is stemming from the Uzo plugin, the related posts plugin. Okay, Uzo is a Uzo related posts, allows you to put related posts in your WordPress blogs. It's a plugin that I've used for Amazon affiliate sites and if you've got it on your if you've got it on your WordPress currently you'll want to check it. Now firstly how do you know if you've been hacked? What will happen is when you load up your home page it won't load. What you'll commonly find is it will actually um, it will start redirecting or it will just you'll go to load up the page and it will start redirecting. Um, the first thing to do is don't panic, okay, even if you feel like it, okay, I'm going to walk you through how to fix it and I'm actually going to offer, if you go through this video and you're still stuck, I, I, I can fix it for you, just send me an email to cljpublishing, cljpublishing at gmail.com and if you want me to fix it, I'll do it at $20 a site, the way that will work because it does take time to fix but if this is all too technical for you the way it will work is you can send me the, the details on your site and I'll do exactly what I'm outlaying in this video you should be able to follow it though okay so the reason it's directing is because of a plugin that had a vulnerability on it now there's thousands and thousands of plugins and as a rule of thumb you want to make sure that all your plugins are updated and WordPress is updated and so on. But this particular plugin has been exploited on thousands of WordPress sites, which is why I'm bringing it up. So if you have that redirecting thing, okay, and it's recently in the last few days or, you know, you've just checked it now and you currently run the Uso related, uh, the Uso related posts, um, if you currently run that on on your uh, at, on your plugins, um, I will walk you through how to fix it. Okay, so steps to fix, and there may be more than this. So if you, depending on how sort of technical you are, you may want to do more stuff than this. I'm just going to show you what I've done and and what worked. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is go to your WordPress site. The very first thing that you'll want to do on your WordPress site is make sure that everything's updated like this, okay? So make sure everything's updated. I'll just update this now while we're actually here. Okay, so the way to work out is you will commonly see up here at the top if WordPress needs updating, if plugins need updating. So you want to make sure these things are updated. Your WordPress, your theme, okay, whatever theme you're running, make sure that's on the latest version. And then if you pop on over to here to installed plugins, you'll want to make sure that each of these are updated, okay? Um, all you do is you select them, the ones that are out of date. You can do it multiple and then just update and then click on apply now if you're depending what you're running how big your site is i don't take any um i'm not going to take any responsibility for you ruining your site okay because this is just a video to help i hope it helps but if in doubt back up if you think that updating your theme is going to get rid of your information run a backup at the very least run a tools export okay and export your site so at least you've got it ideally if you're a bit more advanced you want to back up the database and back up the wordpress files that will mean logging in with filezilla or ftp using filezilla or some other program like that and copying your files from the wordpress onto your hard drive 
Again, if you want me to do this for you, I'm quite happy to do that. Just email it cljpublishing at gmail.com. I will do one site at $20 just to put that out there. You don't have to. You can follow this video. But if you're watching this and going, oh, my God, this sounds crazy. But that's what you do. So what we've got up to, everything's updated. The next thing that you'll want to do, I'll guide you through, is go to users and then go to all users. Okay, once you've done that, you'll want to click on edit. You'll also want to make a note, make sure that there's no more users there that you don't, that shouldn't be there. Okay, it should just be the users. You might have more than one user, but it should be people that you know. Okay, if there's weird ones there, obviously make sure that you delete them and so on. The next thing you want to do from this screen, I won't scroll down and show it, but from this screen, there's an option going further down this page where you can change your password for the WordPress blog. Make a note of that and make sure that you um, make sure that you remember that password okay and then there's also another option where it will say log out from other places just click that to double make sure that you're not logged in anywhere this hacking isn't caused by people logged into your blog but it's good practice okay so you've thoroughly logged out you've you've changed your um, changed your password and uh, you know and, and and done it like all properly so you've got all your details the next thing that you'll want to do is go to your plugins and the plugin that will be causing the problem is called Uzo Yuzo related posts or something like that what you want to do is delete that or you can test it and deactivate it if it's currently live deactivate it and load your site once you've done that your site should then load up correctly okay a couple of things that you'll want to do to make absolutely sure once you've verified that your site is loading properly because you've deactivated the Uzo plugin the next thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you um, make sure that it's all loading properly and make sure that you delete it via FTP okay you can just delete it here and that will do the same thing but what you also want to do you know to do this properly is log in via FTP that's a little bit more technical you'll need your cPanel details for the site and the well the FTP details for your site rather and you'll have to use the FileZilla is a really really good one and it will load up all the files and I'll tell you where to find your plugins folder once you're in your uh, plugins, uh, sorry, once you're in your folder, what you want to do is go to WP content of all your WordPress and there's a folder in there called plugins and inside that plugins will be all of your plugins and make sure that Uzo related posts is fully deleted. Okay, that's what you want to do. The other things just finishing up that you want to do, you want to double check everything ideally check your other plugins because you might have different ones in there check that there's no malicious code in there or anything like that just for good housekeeping this is seems to be a specific problem with you though but you'll want to check that the other thing that you'll want to do and th this is slightly more advanced but just to make sure is make sure that you go and change the cPanel password for your domain so whatever domain that you're WordPress blog is on good practice would be to change your um, cPanel password from your actual host so so log into your server and change the password for your server and the other thing you want to do if you want to get a bit more advanced is to change the FTP account that you use to connect to your site what that means is you'll get your FTP details for your site but it, normally when you set up a domain and you put WordPress on it you can do it straight through FTP you might have done it through some software and cPanel normally you will have an FTP account attack uh, sorry you will have an FTP account associated with that domain what you want to do is create a new FTP account to associate to that domain so what have we done if we follow those steps you've deleted the offending plugin the thing that's causing all the problems You've made a full backup. 
you have deleted all the problem files you've double checked to make sure that everything else is running both loading up and checked on your server for all your uh, plugins and check your theme files and all of that stuff um, if you struggle with that stuff okay check on YouTube how to fix a redirect hack and there'll be loads of uh, videos on it that go far more into detail about how to check code it is quite intensive it takes a really really long time because you're basically checking code it's sl slightly more advanced but I'm just giving you the steps um, I'll just say as well for the purposes of this video make sure that you change your password make sure that you change your cPanel password and make sure that you delete the plugin at a bare minimum so if you're watching this and you're going Chris I don't know what the hell you're going on about too advanced delete the plugin change the password on your server okay change the password for your WordPress make sure that there's no other users there okay so at a bare minimum make sure that you do those things and make sure that you back everything up and make sure that you have everything updated if you do that it should fix so give it a go um, give us a thumbs up if that fixes your problem if you were crying out for help and searching through these and going oh my god my site's gone down follow that give us a thumbs up if it helped and if you want me to do it for you send me an email to cljpublishing at gmail.com you can see my youtube channel here and do all stuff on wordpress amazon affiliate sites lots of seo stuff and i will do it for you all those steps I just mentioned for twenty dollars if you want me to that is I just thought I'd throw it out there because it takes some time to do but if you're really struggling as I was when I sort of look at the thing and I sort of saw some of my sites and I'm like oh no what's going on and you, you sort of have to work out why if you're in the same boat and you just want someone to do it for you send me an email cljpublishing at gmail.com I'll do it for twenty dollars a site if you've got lots of sites and you need it doing let me know and I can sort out a discount it's just the time that it takes to do it's quite a simple fix I dare say um, but you should be good going with the instructions from this video as well so I hope that solves the problem I hope you get back up and running let me know how you get on and uh, thanks for watching cheers guys